I'm here with Stuart Wilders from ESC Fan TV. Make sure to subscribe to see all content from ESC Fan TV. Stuart, uh, Spirit in the Sky by Norway. Um, what do you think of Spirit in the Sky? Oh, ooh, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, what's there to say? It's bizarre. It's bizarre. It's, it's really it's, it's such a fan favorite. I, I listened to all 10 Norwegian songs. And there were some uh, some really really great tunes in there, uh, and then this was song ten, and I loved it, absolutely loved it. Um, for forward maybe a month or two, and I'm now thinking, will it qualify? Won't it qualify? I don't think it's guaranteed. Um, Norway have this habit of either doing really well or really badly. Uh, this should do really well, but there are so many good songs this year. I fear with Sweden, with Denmark, with Finland, this could just uh, just miss out on qualification. I have it sort of 10th or 11th. If it's 10th, it qualifies. If it's 11th, it doesn't. And I don't know whether it will, visually on, as on the stage, I'm not sure whether it transmits as well as it does as, uh, you know, as an audio uh, file that you'd listen to. I, I just don't know. I just don't know on this. I'm really torn. I want to love it, but I'm not sure it connects as well as it maybe should. Have you seen the music video that recently came out? Yeah, it's bizarre. I mean, I, I thought I was watching Dolly style at one point. <laughs> it, it's very strange. And then they're all frozen up. And yeah, and then the uh, Tom, the, the singer, is kind of got um, some kind of horns coming out. Or so. I don't know yeah. what's going on there. Whoever dreamt that up, I want to I want to smoke what they're smoking. Uh, I didn't expect that kind of concept and they seem to be going with it. Like they didn't seem awkward. They were really selling. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I want to see that on stage. I don't want to see them stood there next to each other, in just black clothes, which is what we saw in Amsterdam. I want to see them on stage with bunny ears and Dolly style haircuts. <laughs> uh, this one is, um, I saw an interview with Kate Miller Heidke and she said, this is currently her favorite. So yeah, it is getting some uh, mention. Throughout well, we know we, we know her genre now, don't we? We know what yeah. Kate Miller Heidke likes. It's uh, it's not what I would have pictured her liking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's great. Ah, uh, yeah. So we'll have to see how this goes on the night. Well, thanks for your input, Stuart. My pleasure. I'm here with Elise Turner. Hey, in person in the flash together. It's a really unique circumstance, really. <laughs> I did one with Lamb. I did one with you. Sorry, Stuart, I don't think I'll be able to get to London to film with you. But... So, you gotta come over here? <laughs> yeah! Come here when we have like Asia Pacific or something. Yeah, yeah, we'll have a group shoot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, Norway, Spirit in the Sky. Spirit in the Sky. Oh, yes. I see night. Kino. Spirit in the Sky. It always makes you think of the gambling thing. What is that? Hello, <laughs> like helicopter. <laughs> Stop being sick, people! <laughs> right, because it's keto. Right. Yeah, do you... I didn't make that connection! <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I'm not even a gambler, but just made me think of it. Are you? No, Are I'm you not. Sure? I don't have a problem. Maybe it's subconscious. Maybe. Maybe... <gasps> Conspiracy! We can help you. <laughs> I can... I'm getting an intervention here. <laughs> Thanks, Kino. Yeah, surprise! I'm not here to record videos. It's yeah. intervention. Oh, no! <laughs> Oh. F you all! <laughs> okay. We love you and we care about you. That's what we're doing. Don't have a problem. Okay. Spirit <laughs> in the sky. Um, yeah. What? What? Let's just go with it. What's right. your breakdown? So this is our first um, 
duet sort of style song. We've got a male and a female singing together. Um, that's pretty cool. And then we've got two languages, we're in English, and then we have Sami, which I don't even remember what like the main language for that one is, but like it's it's a uh, slang. Sami. Yeah. yeah. I just thought it was Norwegian this whole time. No, no. So it's um Sami, which basically like it's just a slang language rather okay. than like or gee, I'm gonna get so many hates so if that's wrong. I didn't research Sami that much. Yeah, that's alright. <laughs> but like I'm pretty sure it's just like it's it's a part of an official language but like the lesser of. Like it's okay. it's like um what's the, uh, Pigeon English. Yeah, yeah. But not obviously Pigeon English. But mm -hmm. similar to that I think was what I took from that. If I'm wrong, please don't hesitate to comment. Yeah. But please do it nicely. <laughs> We're trying. I'm happy to be wrong, but you know, don't yell at me if I am. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like in the virtual world, that's just asking to be yelled at. Uh, you say no hate. I, I think um, there are some some videos where your viewers were nicer than others. Yeah. So Good, this helicopter. It's just a spirit in the sky. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> and then our vocal range is D three to F five. We are also in two sort of keys that we're going back and forth between. Um, for the intro and whenever the male sings in the verse, uh, we're in A minor, and then it sort of transitions into F major for the rest of the song. But it's not super obvious, it's not like it's an obvious key change, it is a subtle one where it sort of just like goes with a new chord. <laughs> Yeah, don't double park your helicopter, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it really is a spirit in the sky. minor and that's um, in the intro and the male first half of the verse and then we sort of transition to F major for the rest of the song but it's not like a really obvious key change um, like it's not like they're stopping and they're going key up change. the thing. I didn't even it's notice. It's a key transition change. Okay. It's still a key change it's just more of a transition you've got um, chords which are similar being used so you've got a D minor chord and an F chord and they're being used in both keys and so your G, which turns into a G minor chord later, doesn't sound as weird because you've got those two original chords, mm. which are sort of holding it together, and they're acting as like the glue between these two keys. Okay. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then we've got a four-four tempo at 122 beats per minute, which is allegro, which is you know, it's fast. It's just fast. I'm pretty sure that's all it means. <laughs> um, and then we've got seven chords in total across the two keys. Um, with three keys in um, the first uh, A minor half. So that is D minor, which is chord four, uh, F, which is chord six, and G, which is chord seven. Then we have uh, six chords in the F major key, which is major chord one, which is F. We have minor chord two, which is G minor, which is our G transitioning into the G minor. We have uh, minor three, which is A minor, uh, minor fourth, which is an odd chord. Normally, a minor fourth in um, the major chord wouldn't be there. It would be a major fourth, but we've got a uh, B flat minor. So usually that would be B flat major, but they've done that, and I think that works really well with the keys uh, because you're starting in A minor and then going to a major key. You've got that minor chord, which sort of makes it sound a little bit more questionable mm. as to whether it really is a major key that you're in for the second half. Mm. Um, and then you've got major fifth chord, which is C, and then minor sev uh, sixth chord, which is D minor. So those are your chords. That's the breakdown of how that's working, which is kind of cool. Yeah, super cool. Um, yes. So our instruments, we have vocals, and then we have a bunch of synth. It's a very electronic uh, track. Um, 
So those synth sounds are kind of going for a bassy sound, you've got a high tinkery sort of sound, you've got some wooden turning sounds at like 18 seconds into the video or the um, sound, Spotify one, one, one of them, I can't remember which. Mm. Uh, and then you've also got a woodwind instrument in there as well, which is probably like a flute or something like that. Um, mm. Then we've got some electric drums and backing vocals. So it's a very simplistic sort of structure, but you know, someone's slaved for hours in the studio mixing them together, mm -hmm. playing around on the keyboard to make that all work and fit together. Yeah. Um, and then our song structure, we have an intro for two bars. We have first one, which is 20 bars in total, but that's made up of eight bars of the male singer and 12 bars of the female singer. Then we've got chorus for 12 bars, verse 2 which is 16 bars in total with 4 bars for the male singer and then 12 bars for the female singer again. And then a chorus for 9 bars and that last bar is just silence which is why it's 9 bars. Um, then we have a bridge slash build for 17 bars which is a long time but that's like, that's what the guy says. Dun, 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 dun. Like it's where he starts doing those chanting things. Yeah. Um, and then a uh, chorus for eight bars and then a coda um, to sort of end it for eight bars. Yeah. Yeah. So that's our overview of how the song works. What do you think of, because the chorus goes on like, I hear you calling me at night. And the last time he sings it was like, I hear you calling me at night. Did you like that? I didn't notice it. Oh really? It was like the thing I noticed the most. Yeah, I mean, I guess I was... You were listening to different things. Cool. So, um, music video. This one just came out. We almost didn't yes. analyze the music video. Yes. So, what well, do you think? Um, yeah, it was, it was odd. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'll, I'll go into it. The opening scene looks like they're in Narnia. Mm. Where's Mr. Tumnus? You know, would have made it much better. Um, but everyone's sort of freezing to death, so it's like not even a happy Narnia. It's like a <laughs> really creepy. Narnia, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Um, and they're also like standing super still unless they're singing. They're like frozen unless they're singing. Maybe yeah. singing's keeping them alive. Um, <laughs> and then the cutscenes with the cat ears made of hair kind of come out of nowhere. <laughs> like I was not expecting that. Yeah, it's like like I'd associate that sort of vibe with K-pop, but the sound isn't K-pop. Mm. Um, and like they put the makeup to sort of match that as well. It's like really kawaii and cute in those cutscenes, but it just like it was very jarring. I saw their performance in the national selection. They were super serious, and then they just had this. They were very committed though to the ears and everything. <laughs> yeah, like I would bother with the hair. I'd just go with like you know a headband. You know what I connected to? Do you remember that song? What does the fox say? Yes. And that's yes. a Norwegian. Is Duo. it? Maybe yeah. that's maybe it's the Super thing. Super similar. Like I did, I did sort of think you know it's got that sort of animal. animal yeah. I, I can't. I don't know the word. Animal. No. And it's from. No, I'm gonna stop. Beastie. Animally vibe. <laughs> did you hear what I said? It's not beastie. <laughs> Conspiracy. I think <laughs> not. Yeah, totally. I liked that. <laughs> that was cool. That was cute. Um, the other cut scene seemed really dark though. Like, um, they kind of look like they're abducted. Abducted. Yeah, that was the sort of vibe, and they're sort of being overpowered, and then at the end they overcome their demons, perhaps. Mm. Um, and I think, like that, like I do think the spirit animals sort of aspect is where they were going with this. So talking about the spirits in the sky, and. I went to look up lyric translations and found a bit more by accident. Mm. <laughs> so they actually released an Instagram post sort of saying that it was based off um, spirit animals. Okay. Um, so it can confirm that is the sort of direction they were heading. And apparently like pre-Christian Norway, um, 
they had like this belief system that these spirit animals would guide you and um, take you to where you need to be and so you could call on them and draw on them for uh, the power and strength to do what you need to do. Like I don't know if it was literally to overcome your demons like I've written but um, they sort of were using that as a way to uh, get in touch with themselves and as a way to sort of move forward. Mm. Yeah, that's cool then. So overall, what did you personally think of this song? Um, I like the song better than the music video, um, mm -hmm. to be honest. Uh, it's kind of like electric um, pop sort mm -hmm. of vibe. Um, but, you know, it was pretty cool. I quite liked the cause. I liked how it sort of had that transition. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought it was really clever in how it did that. And maybe it's just because the guy needed to sing lower. Yeah. That could be all it is. That yeah, could be yeah. the entire reason maybe. for it. But it, it worked What do you really think nicely. of that guy? Um, I think the Chanty guy actually had um, some more cultural roots, I guess, okay. in terms of like grounding it in that sort of belief system of where the song's coming from. Yeah. Um, because it was a bit like chanting, uh, and you've got like uh, in uh, Canadian Inuit culture, you get Inuit chants, and so it has like it's not that sort of sound, but it's got that sort of vibe, and that's the sort of like direction you start to get overtones where you got like two notes being sang at once. Yeah. Um, so if I feel like it's a step away from overtone sort of singing and chanting, uh, but you've got that really tribal vibe that um, really. Uh, back to nature sort of um, way of singing because back in the day people used to go to nature and draw on nature as a way to understand the world and um, everything we could do and stuff and so uh, you get uh, countries and uh, belief systems especially ones which are looking towards the nature uh, as a way for power mm -hmm. but they are drawing upon the sounds of nature to sing and to do those things and so the way that he was sort of chanting uh, while well, I have no idea what he's saying yeah. Um, it really did remind me of those sort of cultural uh, elements of, you know, we're going to draw back on the natural world to uh, make these sounds. Yeah. I thought that's sort of where it was heading with that. Mm. I probably wouldn't put it in my songs. But, okay. <laughs> but it, like, it, it worked for the song, it worked for the vibe they were going for. Did you end up listening to that song Monsters that I sent you? Yes. Did you work out why I sent you that? No. Okay. Well, you probably <laughs> don't remember the song exactly, but the chorus, the melody, many people are saying that represented Finland last year. Many people are saying that the melody in the chorus is exactly the same as the melody in the chorus for this one. Like, I think there's some similarities. You do have a sort of four chord sort of structure going on there, and you are playing four chords in the um, chorus at that point. Um, but I don't think it's the same melody. And from what you were singing, like, it was a bit of a call and response thing. I think these two songs could mash up really well. Like, I think you could do a really cool cover with the two songs together. Yeah. So, similarities, yes. Um, I thought also, like, uh, the, the intro, like, it had that sort of weird dissonance as well, like, in the verses, um, where it kind of went not how you expected it to go. It sort of went sort of major then a bit minor, and then went into the chorus again. So there were some similarities there. But I don't think it's the exact same melody. Yeah. Uh, I think they're different enough, and you've only got so many chords. Like, you can't expect all the songs <laughs> to be 100% um, different. Like, you're going to have crossover. Yeah. That's just the way of music. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I want to see a, a mashup. Yeah. Musical cool. people who are watching. Get they, on it. They interviewed Kate Miller Heidke, someone, okay. and they asked her what her favourite song is of the year, and she said this one. Oh, nice. So, yeah, it's interesting. As if you wouldn't just answer your own. <laughs> <laughs> My song is the best, obviously, but other than that. I feel like cutthroat campaigning doesn't make you win Eurovision, though. Maybe in politics, but. I mean, but if, like, she wrote her song. Yeah, no. Like, she's gonna be really she's passionate about it. her song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It anyway, must be really good for it to be better than I was like. We'll talk about <laughs> Australia next, so check that out. <laughs> and thanks very much, Elise. No worries. See you later. Next up, we have Lam. And next up is Norway, Spirit in the Sky by Kino. So, just play it. Try to so, that was Norway, what'd you think? Yeah. Um, you know, very upbeat. It makes me feel very excited, um, and also I think it's going to be a good song to be performed. You know, if it add on some you know good lighting to the performance, that could be very impressive because it's going to excite um, you know people a lot. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. uh, but I, and I do think they, they did bring some of the traditional elements into the song, because with the, you know, in the, um, in the middle of the song where the, the ball guy, he, you know, do some, I think some traditional um, Norwegian, um, I, I have no idea how to describe <laughs> that, but I, I believe that's very unique, uh, so I, I think it could be traditional. So I, I don't know, but I think that's very unique and very interesting. Mm. And yeah, it's gonna um, interest you know new audiences like me. Yeah. What do you think about the ears? The ears? Yeah, he's wearing. They're wearing. Ah, oh, they're the hair. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that that's like. Ah, uh, yeah, that's um very interesting. You know, because in in the, uh, the in the intro, you know, the guys doesn't seem that they have the, you know that much of the hair, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, man, it's like so so what what they try to do, you know. Um, I have no idea what they're trying to do with those ears. Hmm. Um, is that traditional? Yeah, maybe they're being like, it's frontier land or something, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Do you know that song, What Does the Fox Say? Yep. Remember they have ear things like that? Uh, I didn't watch the videos. So uh, they, yeah, they do. Like, yeah. And they're both Norwegian. So maybe oh, okay. Yeah, yeah that could be traditional. I mean, like, if those are a real, real traditional elements so i think they, they've done a great job you know mm -hmm. yeah uh, a, a universal song but with some cultural elements in that so mm. Mm. they are good combinations yep okay cool all right we'll leave it there thanks a lot then and thanks to all the jury members subscribe see all more videos until next time bonsoir europe bye Cut who in our hearts, MJG.